Meanwhile, the man accused of shooting and killing Miguel Angel Delphin outside of the Phoenix 7-Eleven on Friday appears before a judge for the first time today. Bradley Robert Quillen is facing numerous charges tonight, including murder. NBC 5's Natalie Weber was in the courtroom today. She joins us live with more. Natalie. Craig Kristen, Bradley Quillen was told today that he's facing life in prison, charged in the murder of Miguel Angel Delphin. Quillen was arrested Friday night after police were called to a fatal shooting at the 7-Eleven on Highway 99. Today, Judge Lorenzo Mejia formally read Quillen the allegations he's facing. On the first day of this month, while in Jackson County, Oregon, that he had lawfully and intentionally caused the death of Miguel Delphin, another human being. Quillen will remain at the Jackson County Jail without bail. He's facing numerous charges, including murder, unlawful use of a weapon, and attempting to elude police. He's expected to be back in court on April 11th. Gladys Diarte was also in court today. She was arrested the same Friday night for allegedly interfering with the investigation and an unrelated warrant. Judge Mejia ordered her to not contact Quillen, who she says is her husband. That you have no contact of any kind with Bradley Quinlan. At least for now, that's the order of the court. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office is continuing the search for the third person involved in the fatal shooting on Friday. Deputies are calling the male a person of interest and they're hoping to get a statement from him, but his name is not being released. Deputies say an autopsy on the victim, 23-year-old Miguel Angel Delphin, will be scheduled for later this week. Authorities are asking anyone with any information in the case to contact the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. Live in studio, Natalie Weber, NBC5 News.